Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be grilling up a 200 day dry aged prime ribeye steak at 1500 degrees Fahrenheit on the Blazing Bull infrared grill. Let's get going. So here's my Blazing Bull infrared grill. And basically what this thing is, it's a portable infrared broiler. It's utilizing what they call Schwenk infrared technology. It's the same technology that a lot of the top steakhouses in the world are using. I've already done a pretty detailed review video where I also cook a couple tomahawk steaks on. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out. One thing I neglected in that video though, and I was getting asked this question in the comment section is how easy is this thing to clean? And I'll tell you this, that removing all the internals that you need to remove to clean this, very, very easy. You can do it in a matter of minutes. Assembly is just as easy and everything's stainless steel. And the nice thing about this is it will, all the parts will fit in your sink if you want to clean it in your sink or in your dishwasher. So very well designed and again, easy to clean. It's not as difficult as you would think to clean. It's, it's a breeze. And in fact, easier than I can say pretty much every grill that I own. So let me show you what we're getting ready to cook. So this is a little over one pound of USDA prime ribeye. This was dry aged. The whole roast that this came off of was dry aged for 200 days using a very unique technique that I kind of stole from a world-class chef. I'll have the video link down below in the description box. And I can tell you, I've already eaten one of these steaks. It's amazing. So check it out. What I did was salted this thing uh, with as much salt that I would normally salt. I had it on this cooling rack, on this tray, and I just placed it in the refrigerator. So again, unexposed with nothing over it for about 10 hours. And you can do this overnight. Actually, I usually do this overnight, but we had a really busy day yesterday. So this has been 10 hours. It'll be perfect. So firing up this cooker is easy. Basically, we're going to turn the gas to on, hold it down for a good three seconds. I'm going to depress this electric ignition. It's lit. We're going to hold this for five seconds. Now we're going to allow five minutes for this to come up to full temperature. Easy stuff. As you can see, there's a, there's a patina on this cooker. I use it a lot. It's, um, I was actually shocked at how versatile this is and how convenient it is. So it's become a mainstay in my normal outdoor cooking regime, especially for these beautifully cooked, but very quickly cooked steaks. So as you can see, those infrared burners are glowing hot now. What I'm going to do is in the drip tray, add some unsalted butter. So I'm going to do a forward sear on the steak and I'm going to alternate sides here. Gotta get this thing really close to the burner. We're gonna grill for a minute on each side for a total of four minutes. that <laughs> wow and there we are all right now there's all this beautiful butter beautiful melted fat in this drip tray we are going to go ahead and finish the steak off 
in this goodness here. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm monitoring the internal temperature of the stick. So we're going to be using that Thermoworks Smoke X4. I want to kind of gauge it to where it's right in the center of the stake. Right I'm going to lower the grate over the meat. The grate's going to act as a diffuser. It's going to diffuse all that heat that's coming down on the stake. It's going to be perfect. The only thing I have to do now is flip the stake every few minutes and I'm looking for 125 degree Fahrenheit internal before it's done. All right. So total cook time was about 15 minutes down below here. And we are at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks beautiful, smells amazing. I'm going to allow that steak to rest about 15 minutes or so. Give you guys a try. All right, here's the steak, all rested and beautiful. That beefy smell that's in the air. All right, let's try this out. Here we go. Looking good. And there we are. Check that out. It's very, very juicy. Beautiful sear. Cheers. <laughs> so good. So this is definitely, you know, that, that's, that Ruth's Chris kind of a flavor going on, not Morton's. You know, you're not getting the smoke, but you're getting that, that caramelized, that Maillard reaction on the surface of the steak. It's just crazy. Mm. So good. First of all, 200-day dry-aged steak, unbelievable, and that perfectly seared surface of the steak, <laughs> soaked in that, that butter and all that fat, doesn't get any better than that. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please hit that red button, ring the notification bell, make sure you thumb it up if you like it. I hope you did. Check the links down below. I'll have a link for Blazing Bull and all the other stuff I use. And let's see, today we are drinking a vanilla porter from Breckenridge Brewery. See you in the next video. Cheers.